Welcome back to the channel. Let's explore together. Today we're checking out Ryan George when sportscasters add nothing of value. So basically most sportscasters most of the time. I, I, the only sport that I'm semi-avid in watching is NFL football. I used to watch a lot more sports, but I just don't have time and they don't really interest me. I even watch the NFL a lot less. And uh, one thing I've learned about sportscasters is... Uh, I think they get the positions far more typically because of their like personality and like having an interesting yeah kind of vibe to them than knowing anything. Uh, it's it's bad. And then I Tony Romo is the one sportscaster who seems to have like legitimate things to say, but he's got the opposite problem. When there's a big moment in the game, he won't shut up about the most pointless stuff of like details of the game. So it's like, we can't win. We can't get a guy that both understands the game you're watching and is hype. That That's what you'd want, right? That's what you'd want from a sportscaster. But we just don't get it. But I will say, even though I don't watch the NBA, I will watch clips of the TNT show with, with Shaq and Charles Barkley and those guys because they hardly ever even talk about basketball. They just make jokes. <laughs> I'm here for that. Anyway, let's see what Ryan's take on this is. Welcome back. That was the first period of what has been a game, Alex. That's right, oh. Ronnie. And I got to say, the Canadians really showed up tonight. They certainly have, Alex. And what needs to happen now is if they want to win, they need to score more goals. Let's yes. take a look at the scoreboard. Yeah, I got to say, scoring another goal would give them an advantage. Scoring a goal in the second period could potentially be a game changer. What I will say, Ronnie, is that both teams are really moving out. There. You have to move when you're out there. Any player could tell you that. And what's more, you got to take it minute by minute. I, I, I like that we decided hockey is the target of this. That's an interesting one. In, in hockey, I think, I think you uh, there's there's a lot of passion in hockey. But the sportscasters, I don't know. I haven't watched hockey in a little bit, but I remember when I used to watch hockey, the sportscasters were actually decent. Uh, but you know. They, they got to be mindful of, of the ice because if they uh, if they skate on the ice and there's some ridges in it, they could fall. And if you fall, it's going to be harder to score goals, you know, that kind of crap. And you're just like, what, why are you here? Why, why, are you, why do you exist? Why am I watching this? And I asked myself that question enough times until I stopped watching. See how that works? <laughs> That's right, Ronnie. Taking it minute by minute is really the only way to go out there. But I will say that sometimes it comes down to who wants it more, Ronnie. A hundred percent. You could really see that both. Oh, I forgot. Another sports cast worth watching is Peyton Manning and Eli Manning on Monday Night Football. Uh, if you have ESPN2 or wherever they stream it, that that's always fun. Just the Manning brothers. Because half the time, especially if the game's not any good, they'll just be talking crap about people. <laughs> teams really do want it tonight. 100%. They're both given 110% out there, 100%. That's 100%, oh. 110%, Alex. 100%. And listen, when you break it down, each team gets 20 minutes per period. They got to make the yeah. most of it. Both teams have come to play. That's yeah. hockey, Ronnie. That's the sport. And I will say, if we could just take a look at this moment right now. Also, hockey having three periods still forever irks my soul. Why does it have to be such a weird number? Hockey, if you get your crap together and just have four periods, maybe more people would watch your sport. Right here, you take a look at that, Ronnie. What would you say about that? That, like that was just, certainly a hit, Alex. I like that we're just using video game footage for this. <laughs> I guess it's safer than the NHL or some other hockey organization trying to come at you for using their footage. That was a hit, Ronnie. Hockey can be a physical game. That's right, Alex, but this isn't anyone's first rodeo. Certainly not, Ronnie, and they're giving everything they can out there to try to put the puck in the net. Well yeah. said. If you take a look at both teams here tonight, they've both been taking this season one game at a time. That's this is a painfully long two minutes. We're like just over halfway through. This is why I stopped watching most professional sports, honestly. Well, the games also got a little boring. So many of these leagues, except for hockey, are, are very protective of players because they want all the star players to stay healthy for like 40 years to make money. I don't know how that's working for them. Maybe other people are more tolerant to that than I am. But I, I, I don't know. When it comes to sports, since I'm someone who played sports, if there's no element of risk or danger... It's not that interesting to watch. I'd rather just play the sport. You know, the professional level, if it's so tame that it's not dangerous anymore, eh, like, good for you. You're not in harm's way, but I'm trying to be entertained. There should be some physicality and edge to the sport. Once you take that away, it's a, 
The NFL is getting a little boring for that. The NBA is really boring for that. Baseball is also but all, always been boring for that. But hockey, hockey, they still let you fist fight. It's, it's got an edge, but you got three periods, so screw you, hockey. <laughs> Get a fourth. That's what you got to do, Ronnie. This is the National Hockey League. What each team needs to do is play as a team, and only time will tell who can do that better. Both teams. Oh, and soccer, or for international people, still soccer. Fuck you. Um, that's the most boring thing, except for golf, maybe. Like, soccer's cool to play, for sure. It's fun to play, but watching that, there's a reason that all your soccer clubs show up to those games wasted off of your out of your minds hitting the pub before. Soccer is painfully boring. You'll you never will convince me otherwise. I spent a bunch of time learning all the positions of soccer and like the 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 way that you're supposed to organize crap. You know, just so people can say, "Oh, it's just because you don't understand the intricacies of the sport." No, they, there's there's none of those. They're running around. Even when you see how plays are designed and how they set stuff up and who's playing what positions and how they're driving and stuff, it is still so boring. Oh my god! Make the field the make a soccer field literally fifty percent smaller from all angles, and the goals fifty percent bigger, and also make it that you can actually like run into each other. A little bit of rugby in there, and I'll watch it. Speaking of rugby, rugby is also a solid sport. So good on that one, Europe. Rugby's great in a lot of ways, better than. American football now, but soccer fucking sucks, and so do you, Europe. Teams will need to stay focused and step up their game. There's no I in team, as they say. It's about who executes better. They've got to dig deep. This is what it's all about. They need to play to not lose. They need to stay focused. 110%. 100%. Now let's go ringside to Michael, who's with one of the players. <laughs> I'm here with hockey player from Hockey Game. How would you say Hockey Game go? We're out there playing a hockey game. There you have it. I like well the, said. 100%. I like the subtly Canadian accent in his response. That's a good touch. Percent. Hundred percent. Hundred and ten percent even. What 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 was that? That was a waste of all of our time in the best way. Hopefully in the best way. Maybe in the worst way. Yeah, so um, Brian George's link to the original is in the description if you want to watch that video in a way that's not miserably interrupted by myself. Uh, let me know what other Ryan George things or other things I should react to, and I probably won't see your comment. But leave it anyway and see what happens. <laughs> Join the channel and I'll see your comment, because I always look at the member comments, but everyone else's comments, I don't know. I got a lot going on. I got like five YouTube channels and three music projects and children, like my own children and freelance work I do. I'm busy. I'm giving 110%. 100% of the time. All right, see you later.